Good morning, Monday morning, uh, December 14th, and today we are tackling um, uh, Joel uh, 1 through 3, and uh, in our in our notes, it, it, that there's no there's no chapters, but uh, we're gonna t- we're, it's it's the only day that it has Joel, so we're gonna tackle Joel and then the Book of Revelation. Um, but um, in in Joel, pretty much Joel's trying to give them a wake up call. Um, you know, to to look at their condition. Um, you know. Basically, he says, you know, wake up, you drunkards, um, and realize the locusts are just devouring you. Um, and, 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 and for me, that's, that's also saying, you know, kind of for us to wake up and, and realize the condition of our, our world or, and, and don't be, you know, don't be blind to it and don't be, don't be, you're, you know, really drunk to it. Um, and, and to sober up and realize some of the things that are going on. Um, but the book of Revelation, um, we're seeing uh, this part of it is is um, they couldn't find anyone worthy to uh, hold a scroll, and and John even got to a point of weeping because of it. Uh, but in in uh, verse five and seven, it says, "But one of the elders said to me, Do not weep. But behold, the lion of the tribe of Judah." Uh, the root of David has prevailed to open the scroll and to, and to, to loose its seven seals. And I looked, and behold, in the in the midst of the thorns and of the four living creatures, and in the midst of the elders stood a lamb as though it had been slain, uh, having seven horns and seven seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God sent uh, out into the earth. Then he came and took the scroll out of the right hand of him who sat at the head. On the throat, uh, behold the, the the lion of the tribe of Judah. Um, one of the elders, um, not an angel, rescue John from his grief, uh, showing him that that uh, uh, the lion is worthy, and that represents the Messiah. Um, and and when men want symbols of power, they conquer up uh, fierce beasts and birds of prey, such as those uh, that represent nations and sports teams. But the representative of the kingdom of heaven is a lamb, uh, representing humility, gentleness, and sacrificial love. Um, it says the lamb looks as though it has been slain. It's hard to describe what John saw, but this lamb had the, had the marks of sacrifice on it. Uh, the coming of judgment began in chapter 6 uh, is uh, um, kind of administered by the, the lamb who already offered an escape. Um, and really it's, it's just helping us open our eyes to see who, who Jesus is and, and the sacrifice that, that he made for us um, and, and how he represents these kind of things. Um, you know, uh, praise to to the worthy one, uh, verse verse eight through ten, the son of the elders of the uh, cherubim. Now, when he had he had taken the scroll, the four living creatures and the twenty four elders fell down before the Lamb, each having a harp, a golden bowls full of incense, which are the prayers of the saints. And they sang a new song, saying, "You are worthy to take the scroll, and to open its seals, for you were slain." And, and you have redeemed us to God by your blood out of every tribe and tongue uh, and people and nation and have made us kings and priests to, to our God and we shall reign on the earth. Um, again, take time and read through the book of Revelation. Look at the different things that it's talking about. Um, and in and, and particularly uh, chapter 5 here, you know what the lamb represents and and for us to be giving him praise and, and honor so um have a great week this week uh, like i said it's monday morning today uh just you know look at what you can do this week to witness to reach out to people and 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 show the the peace and love and, and joy of christ this week god bless you all have a great day i'll see you tuesday morning